Welcome back to our off-grid cabin in the woods. It's been a while, but we're happy to be back here. The trails are clear, there's no snow right now, so it's easy to get to the cabin with the four-wheeler. It's a little chilly. Should we say it together? Say, say what? Welcome back to the cabin. Nah, you can say it. Welcome back to the cabin. We finally made it back here and it feels so good. It's a strange, strange winter with no snow right now in Minnesota, even though it's early February. Usually this is the beginning of the snowiest time of year, but there's none. It's odd, but we're at the cabin, we're gonna make the best of it, and we're able to get a lot of our stuff out here that usually this time of year it would just be almost impossible to get to the cabin. So it's nice to be able to bring the four-wheeler and the trailer and some lumber out here to start trimming out our windows in the cabin and make it look nice. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't have to use the uh, snowshoes once this year. That's true. I actually really like snowshoeing. All right, let's start the wood stove and warm up. Yeah, it is, it's still cold even though there's no snow. It's Not about, that cold, but. Yeah, it's about 30 degrees. Yeah, just chilly enough. the sun coming in right now. It's just, what a dream. Thank you. 
Seems to have a little bit left to do in the back. Can trim this window. Can trim that window. I'm really excited about trimming that window. And there's all the windows in the lofts. And then there's putting lights up in the crack. And we have a lot of work to do in the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like I update every single time. Like, this is all the things we have left. Yeah, the to-do list. But it Never does. Never ends. I mean, it's like a whole cabin. We built this. We built this. Ah, uh, it feels like it has been so, 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 so long and since the last time we were here. But also, as soon as I walked in the door of the cabin, it was like, like I just feel good. It's beautiful. It feels so much better showing up to the cabin these days because it feels warm and inviting and you just start up the wood stove and it just feels cozy even before it's really warm. Right, it takes a little while for the wood stove to heat up the space, but once it's heated, it'll hopefully hold the heat for a while. The tongue and groove paneling is bright but warm at the same time. It's not just stark white, but it's bright. I don't know, it's like the perfect balance of feeling like a cabin and not feeling dark. Like some like log homes feel really dark. This is like warm, cozy cabin, but still bright and airy. And the wood stove is beautiful, and the bed is made. It just feels good. These are like the heat driven fans to move air in the cabin. We had one, felt like it wasn't really moving that much air, so we got a second one. Still doesn't really feel like it's moving that much air, but I'm sure it's doing something. Are you so happy to be at the cabin? Are you so happy? Are you so happy? Are you so happy? Oh, are you grunty? Are you grunting? Like Do you like that? Don't get too close to the stove, you'll burn yourself. <laughs> You're grunting. Cory ripped some of our tongue and groove boards into thinner four inch boards to be able to put on the ceiling because currently our ceiling gap, there's enough space to maybe put like one board on one side and one board on the other side, but it'd be really hard to get in there because of there's no space at the very peak to be able to pound the board down into place. So Cory cut the boards narrower so we can put them up and get them secured in there but they're not stained or not finished the boards on our wall all have a few layers of polycrylic on them the boards for the very peak have not yet been stained or finished so we were talking about do we finish them down here and then install them if we do that we probably shouldn't cut boards in our in cabin cutting station because then the sawdust will get on it and it'll settle on the ceiling boards and that won't be nice so instead we're going to install unfinished boards for the peak and then cut boards to do our windows that we want to finish and do all the other stuff in the cabin we want to and then before we leave the cabin we'll put a coat of finish on the ceiling boards so that they are 
at least they have one layer of finish on them for now. We still have our cutting system in the cabin from earlier in the year. We brought it in because it was rainy and really cold outside. We could bring it back out, but it's actually very windy right now and the wind has a bite to it. So we're probably just gonna leave it in the cabin so that it's more comfortable to be cutting boards and installing our window trim and our ceiling and stuff like that. And then hopefully one of the next times we're here, we'll get it all out of here and clean up all of the sawdust everywhere. It's probably not great for us to be breathing that in, but. The workstation. The fire's going. We left the cabin this morning to get coffee and scones in town. Um, and coming back to the cabin, it might have been cold is kind of what I was thinking, but it's still 66 degrees in here, so it's pretty nice. Last night we went to eat um, for a fish fry. It was a Friday, so we went to a fish fry last night, so we didn't have dinner at the cabin. We've been kind of relaxing and hanging out with other family who's up here, but now we need to get things done <laughs> and then see what we have for lunch. I don't really know what our dinner plans are either, so. We have some shrimp um, pasta, shrimp and alfredo sauce and fettuccine with, so we could make like a shrimp fettuccine. We need... Only a four footer? Yeah, a four footer. So as you can see, we need another row to finish the already almost completed row at the top here you have to complete this all the way to the end and then on top of this row up here is where we're going to put the four inch pieces that Corey ripped down with a table table saw but we're going to be putting a like flat piece to cut off the peak the whole length of the cabin to put little can lights in to light up the loft up here so that's why we're not taking the tongue and groove all the way to the very peak. There'll be a little crack there still. Thank you. Yay! 
So we're gonna measure the whole peak now? Yeah. Okay. It's like 22 feet, so we need three eight footers. We're gonna use the six inch tongue and groove like we have on most of the wall here. Um, we're just gonna put that along the ceiling. We had talked about doing some other kind of wood and staining it kind of dark to have like a dark ridge. Be kind of cool, but we already have the tongue and groove six inch and I think it would look nice. The only thing I'm thinking is there's this little corner over here we should Fill in first. A little baby corner because the board is not going to quite cover that. It'll be up. This is for our lights. So this have to stay up on top. I'm going to 8.5. This is what we got. No way. No way. No way! No way. It needs like a lot cut off. This. This triangle. Try this one. Maybe a little small, but we'll cover that with trim. <laughs> This last words. Trim will cover. Trim will cover it. That oh, worked out okay. Now time for our little ceiling uh, peak board. I want to call it a ridge cap, but that's not what a ridge cap is. Hold on the board. One end is an inch, and the other side is like an inch and two eighths. Yeah, yeah, look at that. This gap has been here in this floor because this board is wider on that end than this end. Um, so this gap has just been here forever, and I just feel like we could fix that and not have a hole down. <laughs> from up here. Corey's cutting us a little chunk of wood. Wow. Does it fit? Yep, that's perfect. Couldn't have been better. Doesn't even need a screw, it just fits right in there. What are we making? We are making shrimp Alfredo fettuccine. We are going to use cast iron to make our noodles because we brought our other pot home to wash and it didn't make it back with us, so. Just store-bought Alfredo sauce, some shrimp, some pasta noodles. We could add onion. Our regular chopping knife was also left at home, so filet knife it is. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are that I'm actually not that hungry yet, but I know you're hungry, so I'm excited to make some 
shrimp alfredo. I feel like you get hungry faster than me, but you also get full faster than me. I can go longer without eating. When I eat, man, I eat a lot. <laughs> I'm plucking the tails off of the frozen shrimp. Usually we cook them and then pull the tails off, but I was hoping I could get them off before I cook them because they're so hot once they're cooked that you burn your fingers pulling the tails off. It's kind of working. Wash my hands. Just a fun little cabin meal. Good enough? Mm-hmm. That'll do. That's where the light's gonna go. That's the light. That'll be a light, just like these lights. Everything got all dusty. These are the coolest little connectors, as long as you do it right. So there's a little diagram, I don't know if you can see it, but it says A goes to A, which is on the outside. So the left side goes to the outside, right side goes to the inside, B to B. So we got black on the right side, black needs to go to the inside. So then you just put that in the little grooves. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. And then pinch it. When you pinch it shut, is there something that cuts cuts into the yeah. yep. wire? So there's a little chunk of brass or something that uh, you can kind of see the teeth there. Yep. That bites in through the plastic and touches the copper. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Da 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 da. I'm gonna come up there and help you. No, I'm gonna do it myself. I have to attach wire. I'm gonna do it myself. Oh, it looks amazing. It looks so good. Hurry up, my arms are gonna get tired. <laughs> it looks amazing. It does look amazing. I can't hold it up there that long. I just wanted to see it. So we're well, we gonna stick all that wire up there. We have to rip this board off so we can bring it down, drill a hole in it, put a can light in, connect this light cord to that light cord, reinstall it, and then we will have lights. Oh, did you just pull it down? so good Wow looks so tape good hey, can I get your tape measure get my tape measure Let's see can't get enough of it it looks so good it looks better in person the camera doesn't really do it justice does not do it justice. We are marking out where our light switch will be for the peak lights. Having it up there in the corner means that we can turn it on and off from down here. And if somebody's in the loft, they can turn the light off from up there or turn it on from up there if they need it. It's not there yet. Oh, no, it's there. Looks wonderful. Corey is wiring it. We're gonna go probably get dinner out somewhere tonight. Again, um, with family. Hi, Cole. Do you wanna say hi? He's like, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? Attaching the new lights to the fuse box. Yeah. Oh, it's on! Blue? Yeah, it's blue. We have lights. Oh my goodness! Woohoo! Holy guacamole! Fancy. Look at the lights! Oh my goodness. We did that today. Holy cow! That makes the loft look so much more pleasant. Yeah, it does. We definitely have a mess in here right now. But look at all of our lights.
we we left the cabin for a few hours to go out to eat um, at a little brewery nearby and that was so good that's what we had for dinner and then we played some cards with family it just feels like a whole different cabin in here with the ceiling all finished it's crazy what a difference it makes are out of bed now and ready to go up to the yard we might be looking for a couple little birch saplings to make trim out of today if we do that we should cut them and then quarter them so that they are like this is a quarter of a round so that they can dry out um, we're not going to install them right now, but we should probably let them sit and dry a little bit before we want to install them. So we're going to need kind of a few of them for our trim walls. I just really like how it looks. We also want to clean up this mess today. So got a few things we're working on. We're also kind of packing up. Today's the day, unfortunately, that we leave the cabin. Got a few contenders here. Great. So not this one. Great diameter. But not very many limbs. They all don't look that straight. They all look quite crooked. Ah, this one's pretty straight. Too thick? Too thick. Get right here. It's a little twisty. A little twisty there. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. But that one's twisty. I don't, I don't like that one. I don't like that. Yeah, that one's ugly. Sorry, tree. Well, these all look kind of big. Oh, I like this one. Is this one too big? That one's a good one. Is it too thick? It's uh, a little thick, but we can maybe make it work. I like that one. You like that one? That one's a pretty one. Too short. Cool, see. 
goodbye.